Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a Christmas gift guide and I actually think this is going to be a really long video. I wanted to cover seven different categories and within each one I've got so many different gift ideas. I'm actually going to do a whole corresponding blog post as well so I'm going to build on every single item, everything that I mentioned, I'm going to build on that even more so I'm going to drop that post in the description box below. So Please be sure to go and check it out if that's something that you think might be interesting for you or you maybe want a few more gift ideas to what I'm going to share with you in this video. Now I think what I'm going to do is just quickly dive into it. Everything I mentioned is going to be linked in the description box below as usual in case you want to go and check anything out. Now I thought I might start with fashion or clothing and this is something that I definitely think about gifting a lot at Christmas time particularly when it comes to the men in my life. Luke in particular I would generally get him a couple of teas or something like that at Christmas. Now this first item is definitely something for you guys who live in the northern hemisphere and it is just a really beautiful cashmere sweater. The one that I've got here is from Evelyn, and you guys may have seen me wearing this a lot recently. This is one of their new ribbed styles and I like the fact that it's got the really loose sleeves it's got the v-neck which is a little bit different to your classic crew and it's really like loose and boxy kind of through the body which I really like I'll show you guys a cutaway so you can see how it actually looks like on I just really like this I do think that this is something that does come in handy and something that your loved one will wear over and over again I think anything that is a little bit looser or a little bit oversized is a good idea because if you're getting something that's really fitted if you get the wrong size it just makes it a little bit of a fact if it needs to be returned whereas I feel you like knitwear you've got a little bit of leeway there now kind of on that same theme I wanted to mention a scarf and just a really beautiful high quality scarf so this one here is from Acne Studios and it's one of their lambswool scarves they're really beautiful they hold up really well this is actually my second one I've also got it in a dark gray and I have gifted this to two people so I know it's a really great gift because it has been so well received even though I'm giving it to them in the middle of summer <laughs> it's something that I know will get a lot of wear come winter time so I think regardless of where you live a beautiful scarf like this which is maybe something that a person might not buy for themselves is a really lovely idea. Then the final more wintry themed uh, Christmas gift idea that I have is a beautiful puffer jacket. Now I know it can get really cold especially if you live somewhere that it snows and um, I was really lucky to be gifted this puffer jacket from Evelyn and this is made from recycled plastic bottles. I think there's something like 60 recycled plastic bottles that made this, which I think is pretty amazing. I love that kind of, um, I guess, renewed commitment to sustainability that the brand has. And I know that this is something I'm gonna wear so much in winter. I'm definitely gonna be taking this if we go on a New Zealand trip in the middle of winter. If we ever get to Iceland, I will be taking this. It is so warm, it's so plush, it's really nice. I have the size extra small if anyone's wondering. I do find that Everlane tends to run a little bit large, so size down if you wanna on the side of caution but I just thought that would be a really lovely gift something that's really practical too and that you know will get a lot of use then on the summer end of the spectrum I always like gifting classic tees and maybe ones that are a little bit more on the high end end of the spectrum you guys know that I don't think that you need to spend a lot on classic t-shirts and I have done a whole video on where I like to spend and where I like to save when it comes to my wardrobe I'm gonna pop that up here for you guys but if you do want to splurge I think Redan do some really beautiful tees this is just their classic tee that they've done with Hanes and I love the fit of it it's a little bit more closely cut to the body it's not super oversized and I like the little cap sleeved design I think that's a really lovely one to kind of go for and obviously there are tons of other brands if you wanted to go really luxurious you could go for a designer t-shirt maybe one of those Dior ones which are really lovely or I know Saint Laurent are also doing quite a lot of sort of logo tees right now for summer accessories a good sun hat is definitely going to come in handy this one's from Sportscraft and I've had it for a while now um, and I will try and find something similar in the description box below but honestly I wear this so much uh, there is a brand lack of color which is an Australian brand which I've had hats from them before and they're really beautiful and they do gorgeous straw hats which I think just perfect this time of year especially if you live in a hot climate because I think sun protection is highly highly important you really need to take care of your skin particularly because here in Australia I think it's one in three get skin cancer so you need to make sure that you're looking after your complexion uh, also a really gorgeous little 
straw bag is something that I don't think will go amiss, particularly this time of year. I think that these are really on trend, definitely really playful and something that I think is a really cute addition, particularly if the uh, person receiving the gift really loves wearing cute sundresses. Next gift idea is some gym gear and something that's really high quality. A brand that I have been loving lately has been Girlfriend Collective and I think the reason why is because they are a more sustainable brand so all of the leggings and gym tops that they produce, everything actually is made with recycled plastic so I really love seeing that they're using a single use product to create products that are going to be able to be worn multiple times. So I have two sets from them but the one that I like the most is the black one I just think it is really flattering so I have here I think this is called the Topanga bra but I will link the right one in the description box below but I just think this one's really neat it sits a little bit lower and it's got the zip up in the center obviously something you could wear either on its own or underneath your gym top and I also really like their high-waisted compression leggings I think they're really flattering and they kind of suck you in in all the right places I will say they are prone to picking up cat hair so if the recipient has a long head cat ragdoll like me then maybe not the best idea but otherwise Wise, I think they're really beautiful, really comfy, they've got a lot of stretch and they wash really well. They just have a very slight sheen to them, they're really thick and they also have a little pocket at the back which I think is really neat, um, particularly if you want to go for a run and you just need to take your keys with you. Sneakers are also a really good gift idea. It's definitely one that I have given before, both to my husband and to other loved ones. And sneakers that I really like at the moment, they're also a more sustainable choice and they are from all birds. And I actually think what I would do is I will pop a link to the video up here where I talk about my favorite ethical and sustainable brands in case you want some more ideas for those sorts of things. But all birds. Now these sneakers are made from New Zealand merino wool and I really love being able to support New Zealand brands where I can. I know that they've also used recycled materials for the laces and I believe they've used rubber for the soles. Have to double check the website but I know that it's a really great brand. You can throw these in the washing machine as well which is amazing. Obviously I've gone for the ivory ones which uh, probably not the most practical in terms of getting dirty if you're walking around in these a lot. I walk Nigel through the park and there's quite a of dirt there but I like the fact that they are very easy to clean they are so soft so unbelievably comfortable and they have come out with a couple of new styles so I will maybe link a few of them down in the description box below if you maybe want something that is a little bit more uh, trend based than the classic sneaker now I think I might talk about a few more accessories before we jump into the next category and the first thing that I want to mention is a really beautiful wallet or card holder. Now probably one of my favorite purchases that I have made in terms of accessories has been this little card holder from Charlotte Olympia. I think that it is really sweet. This is, has been so well made. I've had it for about four years now and it has worn really well. I haven't overstuffed it but I've just got my essential cards in here. My Opal card for the train, my driver's license and a couple of uh, debit cards. So that's really all I need for day to day. The next leather piece that I want to mention is a little bit bigger uh, and I think it's a really great great gift for someone who might be going traveling and it's from Everlane and it is their new traveler wallet now this is actually brand new I haven't used this yet but I really love the layout of this so inside it's got a slip pocket here where you can put cash in it's got so many card slots there's also a larger pocket behind all the card slots and then you have a little zip up pocket too. So I think really practical because you can put your passport in here, you can put cash, coins, everything that you need really, all of your receipts and stuff. So perfect if you know someone who is going to be going traveling. It's a pebbled leather too, so it's really hard wearing and I don't think that these are too expensive either. Actually, what I'm gonna do for all of these items that I mentioned is I'm gonna pop the price on the screen so you guys can get an idea of the RIP, what you might be spending if you decide to pick up any of these ideas for your loved ones. Now let's talk about some jewelry and you guys might have seen from the Black Friday sales that I picked up some jewelry from Missima. Now I actually think that that is a really beautiful gift idea. Uh, personally I find it really hard to pull the trigger on any new jewelry purchase. It is a bit of an investment, it's a bit of an upfront expense but I know in the long run it's something that you're going to wear over and over again. You guys probably know just from watching my videos that I tend to wear the same pieces again and again and again. Like this necklace I'm wearing from Majuri, this is a diamond necklace. It's really simple, really minimal, but I have been wearing this for 
over two years now. So I got a couple pieces from Miss Emma, which I actually think would make lovely gifts if you guys are thinking of getting some jewelry for your loved one. And the first one here is this necklace, which is the interstellar necklace. I'm going to show you guys a bit of a close up so you can get a better look, which I think is a really lovely little constellation type of necklace. It's got the stars and then it's got little gems as well, which is very pretty. And then I also got this kind of molten necklace as well, which I think hangs at a really lovely length. The whole packaging as well of Missima products is really beautiful. So you kind of get quite a luxurious sort of a unboxing experience. I also feel like I have to mention Majuri because you guys know how much of their jewelry that I actually wear on a daily basis. And probably my favorite piece from the band has to be this uh, Zodiac necklace, which I'm gonna show you guys a close up because there's no way you can see this from over there. But what I like about this is that it's again, slightly personalized. So I'm an Aquarius and I have the little Aquarius Zodiac necklace. They also have little signet rings as well, which have that same kind of, um, design to them. They've got the uh, star signs as well, but yeah, I just think a lovely little personalized gift. Two more jewelry bits. Sorry, I have so many and I kind of feel like a lot of these are really beautiful gift ideas, so I just wanted to share them with you. But I've got a couple bits from Pandora and I feel like Pandora is a really great brand to give at Christmas time. They have so many beautiful pieces and I'm always kind of amazed by how gorgeous they are. So the first little set I wanted to mention is this one here, which is actually sterling silver and it's got little pearls on it. And these, I believe, come in other colors. I really like the silver though. I think it pairs really beautifully with the pearls. And it's the two earrings and then the little necklace, which has this horseshoe shape to it. I'll give you guys a close up of that. And then the other thing from uh, Pandora that I want to mention is their new reflections range. Uh, these are sort of like the new bracelets that you can add all of the little charms onto, which I think are really cool. So they're sort of a chain mesh, and then you've got the little charms which just clip on, and you can get so many different ones. I personally think I prefer these to the bangles because they sit flat and I think that you could wear them just with nothing on them and they'd look really cool too. So again, I think that's another little lovely gift idea. And I kind of wanted to talk about beauty and this again is just, there is so much choice when it comes to beauty. Christmas is the time of year where there are so many incredible Christmas beauty collections out there and honestly, I really had to restrain myself because I have more than enough makeup as it is but if you were gifting a beauty lover, I think it's a really good time to pick up some little sets and it's a great way to introduce them to brands too that maybe they haven't tried before. So I've got a few sets here that I want to share with you guys. Again, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to do much more extensive blog post sharing, way more ideas, way more sets that I think are really worth the money and worth giving as a gift. So I'm just going to quickly grab everything. Now, because I'm really in the gifting spirit, I kind of love this time of year. I love being able to give things to people. I actually want to give back to you guys. And so I thought what I would do is I want to give away three little lucky dip packs of beauty products, maybe even some fashion bits to you guys. So if you want to go on for the chance to win, then all you've got to do is follow me over on my Instagram and then let me know in the comment section what your Instagram handle is. It's really easy. You don't need to comment on anything. Uh, that's all there is to it. And there's going to be some of the items that I mentioned in this video and also some things that I haven't mentioned. So yeah, it's going to be really fun. I'm really excited about it and it is open worldwide as well. So it doesn't matter where in the world that you live. So with that being said, let's jump into these. Now I feel like every year Nas absolutely kill it with their Christmas collections and I thought that these little fetishes were a great way to introduce someone into the brand or maybe try out a couple of bits that you haven't actually uh, had a chance to use from the brand before. So I got both of them here and this was the one that I think really caught my eye because I haven't tried Nas Laguna um, powder before and they've also got the highlighting powder in here too. So when you open it up, I actually think there's a really great for storage as well. You get these two little minis, which I just think are so sweet. So here you've got the Laguna bronzer and then in here we've got the um, Fort de France highlighting powder. So I just think that those are really sweet. I mean, they're great for travel and also, I mean, particularly with highlight, I don't think you need a lot. So I think it's a really great way to add a little bit of a highlighter in. And the other one in the red one, which I mean, this is just 
so gorgeous. I love the packaging. There is two of the Orgasm products. So there is the Orgasm Blush, which is a classic, and I think it's probably one of their most purchased um, blushes. And then there's also the Orgasm Lipstick, which is great. And I love these little pocket-sized mini lipsticks too. So that is the first kind of beauty gift idea. No, actually maybe I might quickly talk about fragrance before I go into some more makeup bits. But I feel like this time of year is a great opportunity to pick up one of those really beautiful fragrance gift sets. I feel like they're very good value for money. And I've got a couple of fragrances here which I think are really beautiful. One of my favorites has to be Tom Ford's Black Orchid. This is really luxurious, it's really deep and heady and it's really floral. It's kind of got a really dark floral scent to it. Yeah, I kind of, and it's sort of almost a little bit musky too, and I don't really know anyone who doesn't like this scent. I think it's sort of universally liked. It is a little bit more expensive, but I think a really lovely, luxurious gift to give to someone. I also really love Jo Malone perfumes, and I love these sort of smaller mini size. So these are the 30 mils, and I think they're a really great little combination to give to someone. So maybe give them two different scents so that they can either wear them on their own or they can layer them up, which I think is really cool. So I've got Wood Sage and Sea Salt, which I adore. I've been using this basically every day recently. And then I've also got English Pear and Freesia, which is a really beautiful sort of fruity floral scent. Now you guys probably know that eyeshadows is kind of my beauty weakness. I seem to like collecting them, even if I don't use all of the colors or even though I've only got one set of eyes and I can't wear all of the eyeshadows all at once. I wish um, and I actually made the most of the Black Friday sales to pick up a couple of eyeshadow palettes which were a little bit more expensive a little bit more luxurious and I sort of saw it as an entryway into these brands and I'm really pleased with them so I thought I'd just give them a bit of a shout out if you know someone who loves makeup and might love these brands but maybe can't afford to buy the full palette and the first one is from Huda Beauty and this is just one of their little obsessions palettes which I think these are so great. This has nine eyeshadows in it, and they're actually a really good size too. If you look at it here, this one is the Smoky Obsessions, which I think has a really good little color selection in there. I personally tend to prefer more neutral to cool toned eyeshadows. I think it just works a little bit better with my olive skin, and I love all of the shadows in here, and you also get really incredible payoff with Huda Beauty eyeshadows. My sister has the, is it the Desert Dusk Plat palette, and she absolutely loves it, and that was kind of what made me really want to try uh, one of the smaller palettes. Then, something really spendy. Natasha Denona. Now I have been wanting a Natasha Denona star eyeshadow palette for a really long time but I think they cost about $250 which is very very expensive and if that's a gift you can give to someone that is amazing. I know I would absolutely love to receive that eyeshadow palette but uh, yeah like I said it's very expensive so I thought it's sort of an entryway into the brand these little five pan eyeshadow palettes are a really great way to introduce someone to the brand while also having kind of a very cohesive little look so this is the camel one and I really like the fact that there's a combination of matte shimmer and glitter shades in there again lots of color payoff with these and they are also highly blendable so I think those are actually a really neat gift to give to then again from Jo Malone, I've actually got another couple of pieces. This is from sort of their Christmas Cracker collection. And I think these are really good little stocking stuffer gifts. Luxurious stocking stuffer gifts, though, might I add. In this bauble here, you get a mini perfume and there's also a mini body souffle. And then in the Christmas Cracker, you get the mini perfume, the mini body souffle, and I think you also get a body and hand wash too. So I think these are really neat. And God, could you imagine going to a Christmas party or a Christmas dinner where everyone have one of these on their uh, plate that would be a dream I just think there's a really lovely way to also get to try out a few of the different scents from the brand as well now, I've actually been trying to get a little bit more into natural and organic skincare products and also beauty products where I can. And that's sort of where this little Nude by Nature set comes in. And there are so many different sets that they've got out for Christmas, which I think are all really good value for money. So this set here is called the Enchant Nude Eye Essentials Set, which I think is a really great one just for a very kind of smoky eye. Personally, this is the type of colors that I like to go for. I just think they're universally flattering. And this one here, um, it's $40, but it's valuable 
valued at 75 so I think you're kind of getting really good value for money when you get something like this and all of the products in here are full size as well which is really neat and then um, I also have one here from Indota Spa which I think is a really lovely little gift as well I kind of like being able to give myself that whole spa experience at home and Indota Spa in addition to doing kind of skincare products they also do makeup as well and again this is kind of organic makeup products so this set here that I've got is called the radiance gift pack so it's all about kind of creating glowy skin and in addition to this really cute pouch which I think is a really lovely little travel item which it just kind of folds over like that there's also five products inside so you get the lengthening mineral mascara the deep hydration face moisturizer the rose hip oil and then there are also two makeup products. So there's the highlighter and the cheek tint, which I think this one you can use on your lips too, which is great. I love a multi-purpose product. So that's what the cheek tint looks like. And then this is what the highlighter looks like. I do love a good cream highlighter. I just think that they are so much more natural looking than powder highlights. So those are all the beauty products I wanted to run through. Now let's kind of talk about a couple of travel items. Now, uh, a really good carry-on suitcase is something that personally I know comes in handy. A lot of the time I'm doing sort of shorter trips and I don't want to take a really big suitcase with me. So what I like to do is just take a carry-on with me. I pack everything I need and I try and pack sort of a capsule wardrobe. I try and be really smart about what I'm taking with me so that I can just take that for the whole trip. The suitcase I've been using a lot recently, oh, hopefully I can get some frame, is my Away suitcase. Don't mind the little scratches on the front. Clearly I have been loving this a lot. I like the fact that it's got lots of different compartments inside and it also has a little laundry bag at the bottom which is perfect for separating what you have already worn with what you haven't. Another really practical travel gift which is honestly one of my favorite things that I have in terms of travel accessories is a little travel beauty makeup case. Now this one here is from The Daily Edited and it is personalizable, which I love. I've got mine personalized with my initials here, JLB, and I went for the blind embossing just because I want it to be really subtle, but they also do a gold foil, which is really nice and matches the zippers. This is a really good affordable alternative to the Anya Hindmarsh ones, and they're really hard wearing too. It's made out of sort of a PVC material, so it's gonna be very easy to clean Clean. and this is the kind of thing which I think is a really sweet gift particularly for someone who you know travels a lot or who might use something like this very regularly you can see everything inside which I think is very practical the next category is home and decor which I don't know what it is but I love gifting this to people um, and the first thing I wanted to mention is a really beautiful print this one here is from Jasmine Dowling I really love being able to or smaller creatives as opposed to big business where I can and also creatives who are really pushing the boundaries and I feel like that's something that Jasmine does if you aren't familiar with her she is a Queenslander she is so so lovely she is very clever she's so incredibly talented and I really just love all of the work that she puts out I'm gonna drop her Instagram below as well so you guys can go and check it out but I think her prints are really beautiful and they come on a really lovely stock I've got this in the Country Road Adler frame which is what she recommends on her website. And I just love this poppy print. It adds a bit of color into our guest bedroom. I've got another print. You can see that one in the background there. That's also one of hers too. Now the next gift I do, I actually think I mentioned last year, maybe even the year before, but I honestly just think that these are a really gorgeous gift. I've given them as a gift before and I personally love them. Like they've kind of just revolutionized having a cup of coffee or a drink. And they are really beautiful coasters. And these ones here are Agate coasters and we've got a few different ones. So these are all from Anthropology, and they've got a really lovely selection, lots of different colors. I think this is the white one and this one here is the citron which I think is just so vibrant and gorgeous and they're all trimmed with a gold trim which you might be able to see just from me holding them up but I just think that these are absolutely gorgeous they're really heavyweight they aren't too expensive either so you could get a set of four and you could actually pick different colors which I think is really cool there are so many different options out there again you can go handmade I know there are tons of beautiful ones on Etsy you could even get little wooden ones but I just think something like this, something that has a lot of wow factor to it is a really lovely little gift, even just as a stocking filler. Now maybe this is more of a fragrance gift idea, 
but I do really like giving candles at Christmas time as well, especially really bougie brand candles like Diptyque, Jo Malone, Crabtree and Evelyn have some really beautiful ones. I actually love their Christmas packaging. I think it is ridiculously beautiful. Uh, this one here that I've got is their Noel candle and this is what it looks like. It's just plain black with the Crabtree and Evelyn logo on it and it smells divine. It smells kind of Christmassy as well, like a little bit spicy, a little bit kind of, uh, a little bit at one with nature. But I just think that is really, really lovely. Uh, and that's a nice little gift. It isn't too big. Again, nice stocking, stocking stuffer idea. Okoya do really good candles. There are tons of way more affordable ones, but personally in Christmas time, I like to go all out and just get something a little bit more special. And then the final thing I wanted to mention is just a really lovely book. There are so many different ideas out there. I really love reading. I've been enjoying really actually really thriving on the fact that I've been able to have time to read again since going freelance. And one of the books that I saw, which just, I love this, is um, Salad Feast. So I have been getting back into cooking, which I think Luke likes. He is an incredible cook and he loves cooking, which I am so very, very lucky for. But it's nice to actually be able to make something every now and then and to be able to contribute in terms of cooking for our household. And I love this. There are so many beautiful food ideas in here. Um, like the photography in it is absolutely gorgeous as well. I'm not showing you, I'm not doing a very good job of showing you, but really nice kind of healthy, wholesome food, which is something that I personally really like. And we try to eat kind of, I guess, as healthy as possible. So I thought something like this was a really good idea. Travel guides are really great ideas for people who are going to be going on holiday. Cereal do the most incredibly beautiful travel guides as well. If you're looking for something that is a little bit more upscale and maybe a little bit different to the lonely planet travel guides which I know are incredibly practical food and beverages I like giving these as well at Christmas time and I think it's also a good stocking stuffer gift idea if it's something a bit smaller so I've got a couple of booze idea options for you guys if you do drink over the festive season just want to say that I hope you are drinking responsibly uh, but <laughs> I do think like a lovely bottle of champagne is a lovely gift idea Moet is a beautiful champagne it's not too expensive either I would say it's, I think it's around the $60 mark so quite a nice way to have a bit of French champagne particularly on Christmas Day who doesn't love a little morning uh, Bellini or a mimosa a really fancy luxe mimosa as well so I think that's a really nice little gift idea and I know I would be thrilled to receive a bottle of Moet for Christmas I also think a really lovely little boutique gin or vodka is a great gift idea. Whenever my dad and my stepmom come to visit, she will always go out and get us something really lovely, whether it's a bottle of champagne or whether it's a boutique vodka. And there's this one which is distilled in Canberra. I can't recall the name of it. Maybe I can put it on the screen somewhere here. But they do flavoured vodkas and they have one which is caramel and it is beautiful you put it in the freezer and then you just have a little bit of it at a time and you sip on it so you have it neat and it is just absolutely gorgeous there are so many really great boutique gins as well and one which i thought was really beautiful this one here is distilled in margaret river which is in west australia and it is called giniversity and this is their botanical gin i like the fact that this was also a smaller bottle so this is a 500 ml as opposed to a 750 or a one liter bottle which is a great way to kind of introduce someone to a brand without necessarily going for a hog then i've also got a couple of little snacky bits here too so from crabtree and evelyn i've got these dark chocolate and mint shortbread rounds which sound beautiful i love the little tin too again something that can be reused the packaging like i said is stunning i think that this would be really neat just even carrying your brushes around or something like that when you were traveling so i thought that was a really nice kind of little gift and something that would be really nice enjoyed with a cup of tea or you could go for some really lovely handmade chocolates and probably one of my favorite chocolatiers aside from Hayes in sydney is coco black and these are honestly stunning hold on inside there's nine handmade pralines I am hungry and they smell amazing. So I just think something like that is really special, a really lovely little gift idea to give to someone. The final category of physical items that you can give someone that I wanted to mention is tech. 
So the first one I wanted to mention, and I'm just going to pop some pictures on screen because I don't have any of these handy or anything like that, is a speaker. So maybe a little handheld speaker, one that you can actually take outside so that has Bluetooth connectivity. We have a Yui Boom, which is fantastic, and I believe they're also waterproof or at least water resistant. So if you have it by the pool and it falls in, you're all good. Uh, Bose do a really beautiful speaker as well, but I'm gonna put a picture here and drop it in the description box below. I think something like that where you can kind of take the party outside or kind of, you know, have a really nice relaxed vibe while you're sitting outside, uh, especially if you live in the Southern Hemisphere and enjoying the festive season with your friends and family. I think that's a really nice kind of a gift to give to someone. Next thing I want to say is actually what is on my Christmas wish list, which is a Nintendo Switch. Now I've heard so many good things about it. My brother has one, one of my old work colleagues had one. I like the fact that you can actually play it handheld and you can also hook it up to your TV. Any other kind of gaming console actually I think is a really good gift idea for someone, especially if it is something they have had their eye on for a long time, but maybe haven't been able to purchase it so far. The final sort of tech item that I wanted to mention, actually, good pair of headphones, a really nice pair of noise cancelling headphones is a good idea. We have a couple of the Beats by Dre headphones and Luke loves them. They're really good for travelling too because they pack down quite securely and they have Bluetooth, which is good especially if you want to use them when you're watching movies on the plane. And then I also wanted to say a nice iPhone case. And again, you can get these personalized. One person, the daily edited, both do personalized phone cases. Otherwise, there are so many different options out there. Something really hard wearing, I think, is good, especially if the person that you're giving it to is a little bit clumsy, like. <laughs> the final thing that you can give someone for Christmas is an experience. I think that. The final thing that you can give someone for Christmas is a really incredible experience. You definitely don't need to get caught up in buying people things if you don't want to, if it's not what they need, if you're not sure if it's going to be something that they like. I think that a really lovely experience, something that is really thoughtful, that you have really put a lot of planning and effort into, is even better than giving them a new belonging to store in their home. For example, my sister for my birthday this year, she bought us tickets to go see Dita Von Tees, and that was an incredible night. I had an amazing time. It actually isn't something that I would have thought to have gone to myself, but I really enjoyed it. Dita, plus all of the other burlesque dancers that they had were all incredible performers and I just had such a wonderful evening. I got to spend that time with my sister. It was just really nice. And Luke and I, we just recently bought tickets to go see the Red Hot Chili Peppers in the new year, which I am really looking forward to. It's something that you've kind of got that anticipation. So that in itself is something to be excited about. You have that anticipation of going to an event or doing something. And then you actually have the excitement of the event itself. It's also experiences like going skydiving if the person you're giving a gift to is a thrill seeker or maybe you could um, buy a surprise holiday if you are going all out and going really spendy or like a weekend away somewhere not too far so if you're in Sydney maybe a weekend in the Hunter Valley where you can go on a wine tour with your loved one things like that I think are really priceless this video is probably going to be about a million years long so I am going to end it here those are a handful of the Christmas gift ideas that I have as I mentioned I'm going to be doing a much more extensive blog post with loads of different Christmas gift ideas in each category and as I said I think experiences are a really wonderful and really thoughtful gift to give someone if you don't want to actually buy them a physical item as always I think if you're doing any shopping make sure that you shop responsibly you only buy what you need and you do not put yourself in debt just to buy something if you can't afford it don't buy it. So that is it from me today. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is my second Vlogmas video going up. I hope that you guys enjoyed the first one. There's going to be a lot coming this month throughout the festive season. I hope that you are enjoying it and you're enjoying all of those Christmas vibes and I will see you guys next time in two days time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.